There's only one. American Idol might have three judges, but it, when it comes to the matters of our life, there's only one judge. Amen. And it's not me and it's not you. Amen? Amen? Don't try to witness and share your experience by criticizing other people's lifestyle. Amen. If you think they're going wrong, just pray for them. Keep loving them and pray for them. And let the Holy Spirit take care of the rest. Tip number three. The third thing that this woman did not do, she did not debate about the correct religion. She didn't run into town and say, okay, this is how I received Jesus and this is what Jesus did for me and you got to do it exactly the way I did it. I have the correct religion. She didn't run into town and say, well, you got to be Baptist. <laughs> You gotta be Methodist, you gotta be Pentecostal, or you have to belong to this church. Amen. Believe it or not, there are truly people who believe with all their heart that the only people going to heaven are the people that go to their church. Amen. That's strange and sad, but that's the truth. I've had people tell me, well, I know that my church is the truth and we're going to heaven. There's people who have told us that we're not going to heaven. Aren't they going to be surprised? I can almost see them. What, who was it going to the pile that used to say, surprise, surprise, surprise. I think that's how it's going to be for them when they see us in heaven. And I would say, exactly, exactly, exactly. I told you, I told you, I told you. People are going to be surprised. It is not a church. It is not a denomination. It is not an organization that gets you into heaven. Why can wash away my sins? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. There is no man, there is no woman, there is no church, there is no one on this earth that can get me into the gates of heaven. It is only when the blood of Jesus has been applied to my life. That's what it takes. John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. You see, some people want to create their own scripture there. Some people want to say, well, whosoever dresses the right way. Whosoever pays their tithes. Paying tithes is a good thing and it's biblical. And if you haven't been, you ought to pray about that. But that's not what gets you into heaven. Whosoever belongs to this church has membership at this church. we got church membership coming up. Again, that's a good thing. If you don't know all about that, you need to come Saturday for that. But being a member of a church is not what it's about. You may have your name on a roll at some church, but that doesn't mean that your name's going to be there when the roll is called up yonder. Amen? It's all about the change that takes place when the blood of Jesus is applied to your life. Well, whosoever belongs to this denomination, whosoever is straight, Whosoever is in leadership. That's not what the Bible says. There's a whole lot of people that needs to go back and read the book. The Bible says, whosoever believes in me. That's it. It's real simple. And I am so glad that John 3.16 includes me. I am so glad that I am a whosoever. Is anybody else glad that you are a whosoever? The woman at the well did not run into town and argue or debate or judge or criticize. She simply went into town and she shared her experience. She told them what Jesus did for her. Amen. And she didn't make it complicated. It was very simple and very to the point. She said, come and see a man who knows everything about you. Basically, she was saying, Jesus knows everything about me. And I'm going to tell you something. Jesus knows everything about you. Everything. He knows every hair on your head. He knows every dream you've ever dreamed. He knows all of your fears. He knows all of your doubts. He knows all of your questions. He knows all your faults and your weaknesses. He knows every mistake that you've ever made, and he knows every mistake that you're going to make. But here's the great thing about Jesus. 
He knows everything about you and everything about me, the good, the bad, and the ugly, but he still wants to say to you, come and drink of this water. And you will never thirst again. It doesn't matter because he loves us anyway, amen? This woman shares her experience, and then after she shares her experience, she urges them to come and see him for themselves. She was saying, now that you see, now that you know what Jesus has done for me, don't just take my word for it. Won't you come see him? Won't you see what he can do for you? If he's done it for me, he can do it for you. You see, it's all about him. We don't share our testimonies and our experiences for any self-gratification. We don't share what Jesus has done for people to say, ooh, look at her or look at him. We give God all the glory. Amen. It's all about Him and what He can do. There are a whole lot of people outside of these four walls who need Jesus. Somebody needs to hear your story. So many people say, well, my story is kind of simple. It may not be simple to somebody else. Because the things that we go through, God uses those things to help us help other people who are going through the same thing. To help us to help people who are at where we used to be. To encourage others. We need to lead people to Jesus. And I don't feel that we've been doing that enough at Ranger Fire Ministries. I really don't. I think we've got so used to coming in, singing our songs, hearing our little sermon, and leaving. And we have no burden for the lost. And we're in trouble when we forget that there are people out there who are dying as we speak without Jesus Christ. It may be your family member. It may be your neighbor. It may be one of your friends. It doesn't matter who it is. It's somebody that Jesus died for. Just like he died for you and for me. We want to bring people to the point to where they hear our stories and they get curious. They say, you know what? That sounds a little bit like me. That sounds like where I'm at right now. And if this man named Jesus can do that for them, maybe he can do it for me. Amen. You know, you get on websites sometimes. I see one of my friends was starting on business like that. He's created a website and he has personal testimonies. It's a place where people can come on his website and other people can see the personal testimonies about his business. Basically, it's a way to promote his business, to get people to come there. We need to be promoting Jesus Christ. Amen? We need to be telling others what he can do for them. I'm going to close here in just a second. I know this was short, but sometimes it's short and sweet. That's all I can say. I don't want to go to heaven by myself. I want to take as many people to heaven with me as I can. And you know what I was thinking? If you share your story, if you share your experience of what Jesus has done for you, and just one person hears your story and turns their life around and is saved from eternal hell, is it not worth it? Just as one person. And you think about it in the bigger picture. We think, well, one person, well, yeah, that's good. But if everybody here will get on fire for God and start sharing their testimonies and each life touch one life and then that person shares their testimony and touches another life and then they share their testimony and touches another life, when you think about it, it won't be one person. It'll be a whole bunch of people. And it's not about building a social club or increasing the attendance here at Rage and Fire Ministries, that would be great. It's about getting people to Jesus Christ. And that's what we need to be doing. Everybody here has a story. And everybody here should be sharing your testimony. We don't have to make it complicated. We don't have to make it difficult. It doesn't have to be all fancy. Sometimes we make the gospel of Jesus Christ complicated. And I love this song that I used to sing. It's not complicated. It's all about a man dying on the cross. Saving the world. Amen. 
we're going to pray here in a few minutes, but if you all will allow me to, 